Hey everybody, so today's quick tip is solid chamfer. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, to begin with, I'm gonna create just a simple uh, wireframe sketch for a rectangle. Uh, once I have that drawn, my next step is to turn this into a solid. So we'll go to Create 3D, Extrude Curve. We'll shift click on our profile to set its uh, to select the chain and then we'll uh, enter the value uh, in order to control its height and then which distance it goes. All right, so that will give us our solid. The next step is to add our chamfer. So we're gonna go to solid chamfer. Uh, from here we can pick uh, either a constant fillet, a chamfer, or a variable fillet. In our example, we're gonna do a chamfer. And uh, this is really where the, the key to this conversation comes from is this chamfer value and what exactly uh, that is and how to use it, okay? So to start with, we'll leave the quarter inch. Uh, we're gonna select the top of our model here. We'll click show preview. We can see a chamfer is created. We're gonna click okay and cancel, all right? So now we've added a chamfer to our model. Now what I wanna do is I wanna measure that chamfer so we can get a little more information about it. So I'm gonna create a new layer and make it active. I'm gonna to go to Create 2D Section View. Uh, this is gonna be for the front view. Generate wireframe and cancel. All right, so now what I have is just a, a section view of our part so we can take a better look at what we actually defined. Now, if we go back into our chamfer here, again, you can see the size of the chamfer that we've defined is a quarter inch. Now, let me go ahead and change the plane that I'm drawing on, and then let me add another layer here. And what I wanna do is create some measurements. So let's go do a vertical measurement right now. I'm gonna grab this point here, I'm gonna grab that point there, and what we'll see is this value that is generated. Now I think for most you're probably surprised uh, when you look at this solid chamfer value here of a quarter inch, I think most people are expecting it to be the depth of the chamfer, the distance from the top to the bottom of the chamfer, okay? When working with a single surface or uh, anything other than a complete solid, when using solid chamfering, uh, the value that we're actually defining here is the hypotenuse. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab this position and this position, and you can see that's actually the value that we're defining here. And I think for a lot of users that uh, confuses them when they're, when they're first designing with solids and chamfers with Bobcat, okay? So if you wanna define a chamfer, keep in mind uh, when it's on a single surface or a few surfaces, not, not a complete solid, uh, you will be defining the hypotenuse here, okay? Now, what I wanna do is create another layer, all right? Let's go ahead and um, kind of back up just a second. Uh, let's go back to our top view. This one, we're gonna edit our solid, but instead of selecting um, a single uh, face, what we're gonna do is pick the whole solid. We'll show our preview here, we'll choose okay. All right, so this gives us a solid on the entire model. Now this one works a little bit differently. Again, we'll create uh, a section view. So we'll do create 2D, section view, generate our wireframe. We'll turn that off. We'll go back to our front view here. And then this time we'll take a, another look and, and see what our measurements are. Okay, so we'll zoom in a little bit. Uh, let's go to evaluate. Let's go, the first one is a vertical distance. So from here, to here, you'll see that shows as the quarter inch. Um, then we'll do other distances from here to here. You can see that that shows a different value. Okay, so when you're working with a complete solid and you chamfer the solid, like in this example here, we turned on whole solid and we enter this value, that would be for the depth of the chamfer. Uh, when you select a single surface, then it's gonna be for the hypotenuse.